and law and the CDC guidelines. However, in Gloucester County, Pocosin and Chesapeake schools, masks are now optional despite the more contagious Omicron variant. In Virginia Beach, schools will keep their mask mandate for staff and visitors. Quarantine will return to 10 days and high schoolers will now have to quarantine if they are exposed. However, parents can opt out of masks for their children while in school. If we feel like there's a problem and we feel like um, this is creating outbreaks that we can't control, then we'll have to make a decision based on the school um, uh, impact. And, and if that means closing a classroom or closing a school, that's what we'll do to keep people safe. And you'll be able to read more about the plans district by district over on wavy.com a little later in the morning. In the newsroom, Kiana Patterson, turn on your side. As we've reported, 13 parents in Chesapeake sued Governor Youngkin over his executive order that gets rid of the mask mandate for schools. In court documents, they argued Youngkin does not have the authority to make masks optional because of an existing state law. That law charges school boards with making decisions that will keep schools open using useful mitigation efforts provided by the CDC. Currently, the CDC still recommends universal mask wearing in K-12 schools. In response to the lawsuit, a spokesperson for the governor said, quote, we will continue to protect parents' fundamental right to make decisions with regard to their child's upbringing, education, and care. Attorney General Jason Miares filed a motion in the Supreme Court of Virginia to dismiss the parents' lawsuit. He said he wanted to fulfill his promise and protect the rights of parents. For continuing coverage of this story, head to wavy.com.